morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Today we are doing input in Java and this is there for class 9th as well as for class 10th. You know that we can enter the values in Java using these three methods by using function argument. Children, this is the method actually not for Java language. It is only available in BlueJ. Okay, so when you use function argument, you have to give the values for each argument a text box comes and you put the values and then only those values are taken into the function and you execute the program. Then we have input stream reader class and scanner class methods and since we are following strictly ICSC syllabus, so as per your ICSC syllabus, you have scanner class method only for input. Children, again I am reminding you already earlier also I informed you that as per the syllabus, only scanner class method will be used for input. So we will be doing in detail for scanner class method in this video. We know that Java language provides a set of variety of library classes or predefined classes which reside in the packages. Package work like a container for these classes. Scanner class is also a library class which reside in the utility package called util. And if we go by the definition, we can say scanner class is a library class which reside in the utility package called util. Now what is the need of scanner class? You know that class contains the functions. A group of functions are associated with the class. So if you want to use those functions, you have to use the concerned class. So scanner class is used in the program so that we can use the associated functions of the scanner class in our program. So now I will tell you what all functions are there in your syllabus and the functions which we use for scanner class. Here is the list of the functions which we use to input the values in Java. Different data types, different functions are there. So let us have a look. Here the first column is for the function name and here I have written the syntax of these functions. First is next short. This function is used to input a, the short type of value. So short variable equals to scanner object dot next short. Next short is the function name which is used to input a short type of value. Similarly, we have next int to input int type values. The syntax will be int variable equals to scanner object dot next int function. Then we have next float which will input float type value. Next long will input long type value next double will input double type value then we have two functions next and next line both are used for entering the string type of value you will ask ma'am why two functions two functions for string type only whereas other data types contain only one function children when we input the string we can have space also say if i want to input a sentence i will have the spaces in between but if i want to enter a word space is not required so in that case when we are not giving any space no space is there then we can use next function but when there are chances that the string can contain space then always we go with next line function so next line function can be used when we are using space or without space. But next function will be used only when space is not allowed in input. And the next function is next dot caret of zero. This function is used to input a char type value, just a single character. The syntax says char variable equals to scanner object dot next dot caret of zero. Before moving forward, I just want to explain you this with one example of next and next line functions. So here, say if I want to input India is my country. India is my country. 
if you want to input such type of string value using these functions during the execution of the program then next will not work for it in that case you can use only next line function but if you are entering india or you want to input only india just one word which is not having any space in between you can use next also you can use next line also but in such type of cases where the space is there we have to use only next line function when we do the programs it will be more clear to you if the question says write a program to input a word then always go with the next function but if the question says write a program to input a string or input a sentence then it is must to use next line function i hope it is clear so let's move further now as we know what is scanner class what is the need of scanner class and the functions associated with scanner class now how to use scanner class in your program we want to use scanner class so that we can use the functions but how to use for using scanner class in your program you will be using the keyword import to include the package which contains scanner class so here you will be writing import space java dot util dot scanner this statement we will be giving as the first statement in the program itself so scanner class is a library class which is present in util package and util is a sub package of java package so this is a package and this is a sub package of java and this is a library class of util package and here we have dot operator so you will be using this statement if you want to use any function of scanner class in your program this has to be the first statement of the program so you are not going to change anything in this but yes sometimes instead of this line even in my programs you must have seen that i write java dot util dot asterisk this means that all the classes which are present in util is available to this particular program so we can give scanner or we can simply write this so this means we are giving the permission to this program to use all the functions which are associated with class scanner so i hope it is clear let me take one example to show you how we input the values using scanner class let us take this example to understand the functions of scanner class first is this statement where you are allowing this program to use the functions of scanner class so we are writing import space java dot util dot scanner so scanner is there in util util is there in java and import statement is used to include this now after that we start the program with class and a sample is the class name when we started the main function now this statement scanner sc equals to new scanner system dot in you know whenever we use any function function can be called only through its object of the class so for creation of the object of scanner class we write the statement scanner this is the object name this is object name this is identifier this can be of your choice rest anything you can't change here in place of sc you can write ob in xyz abc anything you can write but this scanner new scanner system dot in will remain same so this statement is the creation of the object of class scanner so class name space object name equals to new class name and system dot in system dot in for inputting the values because we want to input the values that is why we 
have used system.in. Then I have printed the message, enter integer value and we have used next int function to input the value. Now how you use uh, the function? When I told you the functions, I told you here scanner object dot function name. So whichever scanner object you have used here, the same scanner object you will be using here dot the function name. And obviously as per the function name, if you are using int, next int function, this will input the value of int type. So you have to use the variable int to store it. Similarly, I have taken here enter double value and taken a variable double d equals to sc dot next double. Again here, sc is the object name. Here, whichever object you will create, you will be using that same object dot next double function. For character value, char c equals to sc dot next dot caret zero. Here, a is capital. Then, to enter a word, we are using next function and for entering the string, we are using next line function. And after that, I have printed all these, right? Now, suppose enter integer value, I input the value as 12. Enter double value, suppose I write 13.12, right? Enter a character value, I write A. And here suppose I am writing computer applications and here we write India is my country in the sentence in S. India is my country. Now after this when we have printed all these using the print statement let us see what answer will be displayed. Enter print i it will be 12 then print d it will be 13.12 character value will be printed a then here we have print lnw and if you see here what i have written computer applications here i have used two words right but i have used to input the value in w only next function i have not used next line so even if I write two words over here, only the first word will be taken into account. Only next function will allow just one word. So if you give computer, then it is okay, it is good. But if you are writing more than one word, only one word will be taken into account, right? And then system.out.println s and here this will allow the entire string including the spaces. Anything which you will input will be displayed, will be stored in this variable and accordingly you can give the print statement. So these are the functions, creation of object, how you use scanner class, what is scanner class. So for today this much only and I hope input in Java is clear to you. Once again just a reminder please use scanner class to input the values in your program as per the ICSC syllabus. Hope you like the video. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You can join us on our telegram channel also. The link is given in the description box. Keep practicing, keep doing the programs, keep working hard. God bless you children.